Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about handling OS signals in Go applications in order to ensure graceful shutdown for a service or a clean exit for a console application. Signals are used for inter-process communication in Unix-like and other POSIX-compliant operating systems. In fact, a signal is a notification for the process about some external event. When a signal is sent to the process, the OS interrupts the execution and invokes a handler. It is sometimes possible to set that handler in the application. Go has a type to represent system signal. There are only two signals guaranteed to present, but the list of supported syscalls is large. The famous are SIGABORT, SIGUP, SIGQUIT, and others. Handling signals may be useful to gracefully shut down the application in a Docker container. Docker sends the kill signal when terminates in an application, which is an unconditional stop and cannot be handled in the application. However, it is possible to override the signal using flags, using SIGTERM or SIGUP instead. Another example of interruption is when you press Ctrl plus C in the command line. The shell sends an interrupt signal, SIGINT. Let's create a simple application that will override the default behavior and handle the signals executing some logic before quitting. The package for implementing access to incoming signals is called Signal. It provides a few methods. Note that SIGKILL and SIGSTOP signals cannot be handled at all, since they are unconditional. The method we're going to use is called Notify. It relays incoming signals into a channel, so we can later range over the channel and make actions based on the signal. So I'll start by creating a channel that can receive OS signals. Then, I submit it to the Notify method, listing the signals I would like to relay into that channel. After that, a separate Go routine is required to monitor the channel for new signals in the background. I'm ranging over the channel and matching signals using a switch there so it's possible to assign different actions for different signals. I'll just print out the names. Let's check that out in action. As you can see, I'm sending an interrupt signal using Control c but the application has its own handler that prints the message and quits. Handling a SIG term is important, for example, in the Amazon environment, as the containers are stopped by SIG term, followed by SIG kill, if the application's handler takes too much time to execute. By the way, handling signals for cleanup purposes in each application you do can be cumbersome, but there are external packages that can help to abstract away. For example, there is a package called Closer. It is very simple and easy to use, but reduces the amount of code needed to attach cleanup functions, or a list of functions, to the event of the application's exit. Internally, it just relays the most used signals into a channel the same way it orchestrates the calls of cleanup functions, callbacks, and proper order. So try to use the package instead of rolling your own signal handling each time. And that's it. I hope you find this video useful, have fun, and don't forget to guarantee a graceful shutdown for your applications.